What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Gordo Show, my coins and crypto news show. On today's episode, we are going to discuss the Metropolis release date, the rumors of Amazon soon accepting Bitcoin, crypto trading, how in, and how it will surpass Apple's total volume soon, the first atomic swap of Bitcoin and Litecoin, and lastly, we'll discuss a little bit of the Lisk rebranding timeline. As I always say, be sure to like and subscribe if you find this information useful. I do put out content daily and sometimes give you guys a chance to win some free cryptocurrency courtesy of Mawa. I also run a Genesis mining contest, which you can find details on below. But enough about that, let's go check out the news for today. So for today's news, again, we're going to discuss a little bit of the details on Metropolis, which is, uh, if you didn't know, the upcoming hard fork of Ethereum and uh, has a lot of potential to really increase the price of Ethereum, has new anonymity features, uh, microtransactions, and a number of different things that really Ethereum has been looking for for a long time. Uh, the, the update is scheduled, at least at this point in time, to go in on block 4,370,000 and is right around october 17th is again approximately when that should be released and this is all courtesy of the latest core development meeting if you guys didn't know the the the, the folks over at ethereum and in the ethereum foundation they put out all of their core development meetings for basically like a news update they're very transparent in what their plans are what they look to do and is a great source of information generally speaking uh, I, I try to catch it when i can this one i was able to find uh, the, via the eth trader subreddit it, but all in all, it, it, it you know the Metropolis hard fork is is coming rather soon, and you should be prepared. Maybe start you know stockpiling your Ethereum if you haven't already. This isn't financial advice. I should always mention that, but the, uh, the this is certainly going to do a lot for the price. Now, do I think that we'll hit maybe four or five hundred dollars by the end of the year? Sure. Do I think we're going to get into the into the thousands? No, I think that that's probably set for sometime next year. My prediction, as uh, as some of you know, is probably a thousand for sometime next year for Ethereum. Maybe fifteen hundred by the end of the year, but I think that we're going to have to get a few more developments in, in you know, just just in in what Ethereum is going to be doing and how it's going to interact with the DApps and the new uh, you know platforms being built on top of it, but. Uh, all in all, you know, Ethereum has good use case and, and good uses for, for not just being a currency, but, you know, in the future being the, the gas that runs the car, so to speak. So we'll just have to see how this goes and, and where this is going to take us from here. And now next we have uh, some rumors of Amazon soon accepting Bitcoin. Now, this is from a newsletter from an individual named James Altucher. And I, I don't know how much validity this has. It, it seems a little silly to maybe pop off about uh, rumors like this. Maybe he's trying to just get some attention. And maybe he's right. Uh, he, he predicts that, that, that this announcement will come as early as October 26th their, during their earnings conference call. And James Altucher is uh, an individual who has some validity and, and some credibility. He's a, a serial entrepreneur. He's a hedge fund manager. He's done a lot of different things in the space and, and basically what it comes down to and, and why he predicts this is because, you know, when we see Google who recently just started accepting Bitcoin via their via their payments API, e eBay, PayPal are already accepting it. He just predicts that, you know, Amazon being that they're generally on the cutting edge or the bleeding edge of technology and innovation. He's essentially saying that what this me what what Amazon has to do is ultimately come in and compete in this space. So it is possible that Amazon starts accepting Bitcoin here soon, but I just don't see it. I think that maybe sometime next year, I think we'll get there, but it would be a big undertaking for Amazon to do that. I mean, I'm not going to complain if Amazon starts accepting Bitcoin. It's just going to you know, send the price just skyrocketing. But at the end of the day, what, what we should hope for is sometime next year, we get some adoption. I mean, if you want to buy anything off of Amazon, you can go to purse.io and, and, and use that site to get virtually again, anything on Amazon and sometimes at a cheaper price. Now, Amazon, I'm sure is aware of that and, and are probably taking the, the, the appropriate steps to get them to a position to be able to accept cryptocurrencies here soon, namely just Bitcoin. Uh, I would, I would also assume, but you know, only time will tell, but I thought that this was an interesting, I, you know, story and, and uh, a very bold, uh, prediction to, to say the least and and one that I think is is not going to be as soon as October 26th but could come sometime next year and and I think it's in be Amazon's best interest to do so of course 
So moving on, cryptocurrency trading volume is going to surpass Apple's volume soon. Now, Apple is one of the most liquid, if not the most liquid stock in the stock exchange. I think it's uh, around $4 billion a day that, that uh, trading is, is taking place of Apple. And cryptocurrency trading is currently at around $3 billion a day and has grown, I think, eight times here in the last year. You know, eight, eight times its initial volume earlier this year, which I believe was... Sitting around 10 or 15 billion and uh you know we're, we're currently sitting now we're actually we're getting back up to about 130 140 uh, billion us dollars but you know it, it's an exciting time it's an exciting space it's just proving to add add more credibility to this space and and rather have it not be looked at like a toy or funny money even though i think fiat's the only real funny money out there the uh th this was an individual out of cnbc who said that and and again is just a a way for for us to have more credibility in the space and it, it, it's really a lot in part due to the fact that more investors and traders are just simply coming into the space i, I think that search volumes are up uh, you know multiple times you know x you know to, to the nth degree we have we have new searches on google going up heavily we, i think coinbase added another 100,000 members last month or register registrants uh so you know or, or maybe here in the last quarter i'm not necessarily sure but it, the things are looking up more popularity in the space and, and and of course amazon accepting bitcoin would 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 ultimately add just again more fuel to that fire of of driving the price upward and uh it's an exciting time you know the stories like this just kind of remind you that you know, whenever we have these big red down days that we've been having for the last couple of weeks, it, it, it's it's always nice to remember what's going on and, and the growth that we've had and, and where we've come from even since earlier this year. And and is something that you should always be reminding yourself. Try to step back and, and take a look at what's going on, you know, see through all of the FUD that's going around and, and remember why you got into the space in the first place. So moving on to some exciting news with Litecoin and Bitcoin. They completed their first atomic swap here earlier this week. I think it was actually yesterday. Now, uh, it, what I really like outside of the fact that this is a, a DBZ gift, gift and I love DBZ, it, what, what I like to see is that potentially what we're looking at here is a chance for Bitcoin to be that store of value and lit litecoin be the the expenditure type of currency where we can quickly swap our, our bitcoin for litecoin and then spend litecoin as it's already it already has fantastic fees good volume and and, and if we can have it be tr easily transferred on an atomic swap then that just leaves it open for a much easier case kind of like taking a dollar and you know breaking it out into four quarters we could take a, a bitcoin and break it out into whatever the the breakdown is at that you know point in time so i, I like where this is going now i don't think that it will stick that way uh, i would like to hope that it would but you know we've got a long way to go in really figuring out what the architecture of cryptocurrency is and, and how it's going to be spent and used in the space and in the real world and, and as you know acceptance increases what's that going to look like and, and but this sort of lends itself to you know having more uh i don't want to say liquidity but we'll say liquidity for lack of a better term in the in, in the market so that you can easily just move your funds over to uh, an appropriate cryptocurrency say you know say one company isn't accepting the cryptocurrency you want you can quickly transfer that over using an atomic swap and then spend it that way or if you see that fees are higher on bitcoin's network which these days it is compared to litecoins which i think is pennies i think i sent some litecoin for three cents the other day you know this is a way for you to you know navigate through save yourself some money and ultimately take advantage of of what you feel is fair for the transactions you're making and, and lastly we have lisk who is going they, they were very nice to share their rebranding strategy and where they've come here over the last year now they have gone through a, a full overhaul or, or at least have been making an attempt to do an overhaul of lisk and in its brand and they went to relevance which is one of the the top uh, consulting firms for branding they work with mercedes-benz and microsoft and went with them to really just do a deep dive you know everything from uh interviews and and uh, various strategy meetings and, and defining their goals to ultimately now we're getting to the phases of them coding it and soon by the end of the year we should have at, at least a full-scale release of the new rebranding of Lisk. Now, no one knows what that's going to look like, 
But uh, what I can say is the last time we had a major cryptocurrency rebrand, it sent its price skyrocketing. If you know what that is, it's Ant Shares, which uh, if you had bought Ant Shares back when it was, you know, a couple of bucks, and once it rebranded and went up to 20, 30, 40, you know, you could have walked out with some some good cash. Now, I don't think that Lisk and whatever its future name is will go that high, but it is possible that after a rebrand and, and if it looks good and it has you know, the the potential to have more acceptance within the space, uh, I think that ultimately what we're going to be looking at is, uh, is a pretty incredible price increase. So what that basically comes down to is that list could be a good buy for you guys at the moment. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but uh, when, it, when a good rebrand happens, as long as it's not a disaster and they get it coded out and, and, and launched properly, what we could be looking at is a nice price increase for Lisk and is one, as you guys know, that I'm a big fan of and, and think that has a, a very, very bright future in this space and especially in the internet world, being that it's a Java JavaScript based blockchain and, and is, is gearing itself up to be easily adopted by a, the, 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 the wide swath of community developers or, or just, you know, internet web developers who know how to just use JavaScript and then can take the tools and the, the software development kit that's coming out and implement that into their sites and integrate blockchain technology easily and more efficiently than, you know, learning how to do it in C++ or, or some of the more advanced concepts and, and uh, development languages that are out there. So that's it for me today. Just a quick news update. I hope you guys thought this information was useful and insightful. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until tomorrow, be sure to disregard fiat, acquire Bitcoin, and we'll see you guys then. Take care.